Hello everyone, Azteca Paintball here. I just want to make a quick video uh, slash review on my Tipman 98, well, Blizzard. First of all, I want to say that this is an amazing gun. Um, well, this used to be a 98 from around 2002, and that's when I started working. Um, I got it from my uncle. He gave it to me. He said, if you can fix it, keep it. Um, I tried fixing it. It did work. And well, then I found out about Rap Force conversion kits, and it all started there. I bought the kit first and installed it on the old 98. But then I thought to myself that why would I have a gun, an amazing looking gun, because I love the profile of this gun. Why would I have an amazing looking gun if the internals might be failing on me already? So I brought the MDK, I think it is, internals and that made the gun amazing bro because that puts the gun around if you buy it all together it's i know for sure it's under 200 dollars, which is an amazing price for a mag fit gun that is going to have an amazing performance um one thing that i would recommend is changing the internal spring the, the i forgot the name of it changing it making an upgrade um I forgot who sells it. I brought it to Anskier.com. Um, they sell a five, five springs kit. Uh, if you name it from one to five, uh, number one will be the lightest and five will be the strongest. Three being the medium spring, the regular stock. Uh, this is the number five on the on my on my blizzard. Reason why is because I like to have to regulate the gun down on air. Because I feel like it's a lot more consistent than that than if you're trying to push it to its limit and shoot it as fast as it can go. Um, I have my number four spring on my 98 Platinum. I got this one a couple years ago. And again, it's been an amazing gun. I love the red dot sight. It comes in handy sometimes. Um, not much that I changed on it. I did install a... A, a hopper I forgot the name of it sorry uh, I love the response trigger I get some nice um, bursts out of it I don't use it like fully at all I just like the burst which is awesome my next project is installing this response trigger onto my blizzard kit or just installing a electronic um, electronic um, trigger on it Again, I didn't, I didn't even open it yet, so I still gotta look in the internal if it's gonna accept it. I'm pretty sure they will. Um, what else? Air through stock, I love it. Uh, this is from Tacomo too. The the butt stock, I did not buy it from Rat4. Um, I bought it from third party, and that's what I love about it because this is an AR-15 platform, as well as the barrel nut, which on this one, it does have a little wiggle. I don't know if that happens to everybody, but I'm okay with it since I use my red dot sight all the way in the front. So that holds everything together. One thing I want to mention is that the barrel I was using, it was a Lapco barrel, eight inch, oh, uh, big shot. Yeah, I got it right. Big shot. And I was, I put on a Lapco A5 to 98 um, conversion adapter, sorry, which adds like an extra inch to the barrel. But what I want to mention is that this is an awesome barrel. I would definitely recommend it. If you got a TAPX, this is a good investment. You're going to get great accuracy out of it. Because I was using this barrel on my blizzard. And I wanted to say that this kit puts me at medium range um, engagements. Which is great because you're not always going to be close quarters. Sometimes you need to clear the path. Put it that way. Before you get close and this barrel is great for that again this is the stock barrel I had on it had a couple breaks on it but once I put on the once I put on the Lapco barrel huge difference again you can tell you can see the extra inch that you get on it what I love about it is that you can change the tips I don't have any other one I do have a um, I have a uh, an apex tip, so I can use 
the tip tip on this valve i have an apex, apex adapter so i can screw it on here which again i was playing close quarters so i didn't really need to do that um i had a i did have a couple of breaks i don't know if i mentioned that already but i did have a couple of breaks in the magazine i don't believe that is because of the mags but because of the paint i was shooting anyways overall great gun great performance it's very low price my next project um, probably will be an A5 platform. I don't know yet, but definitely loving um, Rap4 products, and I recommend them to everybody. Ask me, I get asked in the field a lot because this is not a gun that you see often. And I just say, Rap4 did an amazing job with this kit. And again, you'll have lots of fun with it. What I love, the the main thing I love about this gun is not a gun that you baby. You won't have to worry about this gun breaking easy or anything. This gun, this is the type of gun that you can bury in the field if you don't want to take it home. And next time you go, you'll dig it out and you'll be ready to go. And I love that. And I think that's pretty much it. Just wanted to go over it. Like I said, you don't got to bury it. Great gun, great performance. You'll have lots of fun with it. Peace.